Hey, it's your boy Chago coming at you with another video. This one is Best of Theo Vaughn and Shane Gillis. I don't really have much to say other than let's go. What's the deal with airplane, airplane peanuts? peanuts? Everyone knows Shane Gillis and Theo Vaughn are two of the funniest comedians working today. But after Shane's third appearance on this past weekend, and Theo's recent visit to Matt and Shane's podcast already surpassing 1 million okay. views on its way to becoming their second most viewed episode only behind Louis C.K., Shane Gillis and Theo Vaughn are arguably the entire internet's two favorite comedians. And these are the top five moments between Theo Vaughn and Shane Gillis. Starting all the way back on August 14th, 2021, with their first ever public conversation on this past weekend. Yeah, and that's yeah, that's our <laughs> producer Riley Mao. He's never even masturbated in his life, which is true. And that's Who is that? Cool. Riley, the the you've never was... masturbated. Never. <laughs> Give it a shot. No, -uh, no, no, you can't. He's like it's too late now. No, he no, it's not too. I don't think it's too late. I don't know. Hopefully, he can. I don't know. He might have autism. I don't even know him that well. He's a great, great guy, and I'm glad that he's here. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. It just kind of fell in the conversation that. And uh, are you doing okay, Riley? <laughs> there you go. You just never masturbated. Nope. He's re he, he's part of a religious group, and they don't do it. Yeah, how rel What type of religion? Uh, Christian. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, brother. But I'm still firing off. He's with you. You're more of a Hester oh, praying yeah, type. Yeah, okay, yeah. I was a Catholic, and they would talk to you about coming. You grew up Catholic, right? Do you? Uh, or no? We were Baptist, were... like, like Sixth Baptist, I think. Oh, okay. You ever get any guys talking to you about cum? We had a <laughs> professor, I guess, or I think then it was just a teacher, you know. Yeah. And he would. Dr I remember he drew a picture of a wiener ejaculate on what? the chalkboard, and it was he like kind of described like he told us what the feelings would be like. We wouldn't be able to handle it and stuff. And then he he drew the the ropes. Yeah, the ejaculate just coming out it was really insane was he like, mm. like uh, was he like making the noise with it i remember he would put the marker on the board and then walk it across <laughs> yeah, the board so that's crazy and he wore the shortest shorts too he died man willie i think <laughs> Derek usner was his name or something and i think his son might have died but he died but <laughs> his son died too I, i'm pretty sure uh i don't want to say that but i'm pretty sure and he had the biggest mustache like i don't his words like i felt like his words he had a big were, mustache and he was talking <laughs> oh bro his mustache came over both lips so it was like the words couldn't even some of the words oh, you just boy. had to guess what they were people thought he was some people thought he was black people didn't know what was going on yeah, it was <laughs> we just couldn't understand what, what he was talking about you know it was just different times back yeah. then um, it was different times but yeah, I've never really had an experience really with an old, uh, older woman. Coming in at number four is Theo Vaughn's first appearance on Matt and Shane's secret podcast. I drink a lot, come back here late. Yeah, yeah guns. I just are... want to show everybody the gun I got. Dude, you have to. You yeah. play with it. Take you it out. Play with it in your room. Like, That's how Chris died, dude. It's not loaded. Who? Everybody's a friend named Chris. Like <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, if I have a gun, I'm going to shoot it at Same. that fence. Oh, you have to, dude. And, and you know he's going to be walking by that fence when you shoot, don't you? <laughs> no. Chris. Chris. <laughs> shot. It's just everybody has a friend of Chris that died from some gun accident. <laughs> and I hate to even laugh about it, man. It fucking is sad. I know it's sad for a lot of people right now hearing that. And it True. just makes me fucking sad. I don't pay attention to things at all. What are you talking about, man? We were just carrying a handgun because you can carry, you can bring your own gun to the thing. Yeah, I know how you I know having a how having a gun works. <laughs> what I'm saying is, how do you drop a fucking? Gun? I, was, well, I don't pay attention. To my head's it? in the clouds all the time. Were you holding it? Yeah, I was fucking holding it. You were walking back to your car holding the pistol. <laughs> you didn't holster it or put it in like a case. <gasps> you were carrying the pistol back. <laughs> yeah, just straight in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to my fucking now, car now. now. Now I'm trying to remember why I didn't put it in a case. Yeah, what are you doing? But I remember dropping it to where like it hit the asphalt oh, and I was yeah. like oh fuck it's, it's probably scratched too. it's heavy yeah it's probably scratched what the fuck I scratched it could dude. go off dude you know? well the whole thing my it was after my wife was like she can actually shoot so she was teaching me and I'm like dude get the fuck off me and I'm like so I was already at an all time was, low wait was she so, wrapping around you? oh yeah dude. She doing she's all, trained she was a fucking police officer she was yeah, an office cops don't, you don't get trained that way it's sexy dude it is sexy it's sexy. but no for real I was like get off me like stop you're embarrassing yeah. there's a bunch of like one arm man there attention baby true that's love dude but then I was like I'm carrying the I wanted to assert my manhood, so I'm like, yeah. I'm carrying the gun to Take the car. 
Oh, I, just, yeah. I think I was just like <laughs> checking the chamber. <laughs> this is just mixed love, man. Is what this is. Yeah. This sounds like every mixed relationship yeah. I've ever even. <laughs> There's not one mixed couple that hasn't dropped a gun in a parking yes. lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's funny. Did she laugh? No, she was like, "This." I told you I should have carried it. It's like I know how to fucking carry it. I had one laugh. I have fucking butterfingers. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I had fucking popcorn earlier. You I bitch. thought I saw someone coming at us. Dude, it was ridiculous, dude. And number three on this list is the time Shane Gillis made his return to this past weekend, back in May of 2022. I went to a basketball game once and like gave a flower to a girl at the game, like when she was in the stands. I, think I did that. And it was like people were yelling, Ooh. you know, people were yelling the N word, dude. I think I'd even. be on your ass. Like it was like if I saw a dude do it. Yeah, even though oh, I, I have done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I saw someone else giving a flower to a girl, I'd be like, pussy. Yeah. It'd be so fun. I think I even yell highlight. pussy. Yeah, like, yeah, it got sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it was so crazy, and I had so much acne at the time. I was afraid to move my face because I thought a lot of the acne oh, no. would pop out of my skin. That's crazy. How'd it go with the flower? Did she like it? It went fine, man. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't work. Like anytime you go crazy like that and like try to do an over the top romantic thing mm -hmm. with a girl you're not dating. Oh yeah. Or like if you're like, I want to date you. I got you this bouquet. Yeah. <laughs> oh dude, <laughs> they had. Uh, I remember I used to work with this one guy named Thomas, and he sent this girl this, like the biggest cinnamon cake ever. And I'm like, what is a cinnamon cake? First of all, and uh, what a risk. Oh, what horrible an risk. And she thought he was insane. Yeah. She he sent it to a bar she worked at. So she gets to her bar shift, and there's a huge and like, like somebody cake. sent you this. Do you yeah. know Thomas? Yeah. <laughs> She's like barely. Yeah, yeah. You got me a cake. <laughs> um, I mean, he has to sit there waiting. Like, yeah. I wonder how this is going. He's probably <laughs> loving that fucking cake. <laughs> he just gets a text like, never call me again. <laughs> Fuck. Sitting That's back, so launching a cake and sitting back and being like, <laughs> this is going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> Never hearing from a woman again. Yeah, <laughs> Just drop it. You forget about it. And now you can't yeah. even go to the bar anymore. Oh, never again. That's the craziest never part. Never again. That bar is gone. Yeah. You got to burn it down. Yeah, yeah. You got to go that night and set fire to it. So far, we've seen three of the... So, you know, there's something to be said when, like, you take the time to bring someone a flower and they turn you down. Like, that's so crushing. <laughs> But it goes the other way too. Like I had a chick, um, I actually happened to be Valentine's Day. This is like forever ago. And uh, she came to my work and brought me a teddy bear on Valentine's Day. And it was a chick I wasn't even dating. Uh, and I was not interested. <laughs> And it was the most awkward shit. And then, like, like all my coworkers and shit were looking at me like, the fuck? <laughs> that kind of shit. And then, like, it, it, like, so now I think back, and this years have gone by, decades have gone by, and now I think back, and it's like, for a woman <laughs> to approach a guy, it's not very common. And then to get turned down, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like a dick. But then what else was I supposed to do? Like, I, I wasn't interested. So, like, I don't know. But with all that being said, I know it's not helping my case. I feel like women need to approach men more, right? Like, why not? You're interested in a dude? Why not? You know what I mean? Like... I like yeah, it's not helping the case, but I, I feel like it, it needs to be it needs to be a a, a, a more of a normal thing. It needs, it needs to be normalized, right? And I think half of it is just it's socially it's not a normal thing, so women don't do it. But it needs to be, right? <laughs> I feel like it needs to. Uh, if you're a woman, you're watching this. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about what I just said. I want I want to hear it. Anyways, let's carry on. Funniest Shane and Theo moments, but number two is truly next level. 5'11". I guarantee you there is a predomination of gays at a certain height. I believe it. What the yeah. fuck? 
Can you look that up? You yeah. guys don't have anybody that works here, huh? Jay Hyde. Uh, no, we got we got <laughs> 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 no, this is cell phone. Fire up the quantum computers, dude. Crunch the numbers. <laughs> All you got it was a fucking canister of look, blood pressure blankets. medicine and a cell phone to look <laughs> stuff up on. <laughs> It's a crack squad, dude. These guys are good. Ask him anything. Ask him anything right now. Gay height. What's we don't, Lamar Gay height. He knows. True. Do you hear that rock question? He got it right. We when did the rock come back? 2012. That's he it. is a computer. My that bad. is an autistic man. <laughs> oh my For real. Bad, we do not need computers. He's oh yeah, I feel you, dude. He's the mind of yeah, a machine. Start, we'll start doing. Uh, like, <laughs> we only do horse powers. We might start doing like autism powers. Yeah. Autism yeah. powers on the computer. Oh, that'd be a great movie, huh? <laughs> that would autism be. powers. That would be. Autism <laughs> powers. You make me horny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Autism powers. Do I make you uncomfortable, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Autism powers. Just an American guy dressed like Austin Powers at a Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just one of our politicians. <laughs> Dude, how crazy that our po that the politics now they're just blatantly just stealing money, <laughs> not stealing, and smelling and molesting children. It's crazy. <laughs> Dude, no one cares. There's nothing well, we can we do just about realize, it. Even if we vote, it doesn't There's nothing we can matter. do about it. There's Not at nothing all. Nothing we can do about it. We're yeah. all trapped in this fucking just this money funneling all our money to fucking <laughs> fight wars. It's literally like a game of like ri like a risk or one of those. <laughs> it's like a computer game someone's playing. And the, yeah, they're, they're so close to beating it though. They're so close to beating the game. <laughs> we just need they're to drain so the swamps, dude. They need like drain sixty swamps. trillion more dollars from us, dude. And then they're they're gonna, we're gonna the win game. once we save Ukraine. <laughs> we're, we're back. True. And the number one moment on this list is from episode 478 of this past weekend, which came out in January of 2024 and already has a whopping 2.3 million views, precisely showcasing 25. the insane pull that this duo demands. Really? It makes you feel that? Like you, like every time you show up, you're like, oh, I'm hungover until you start to notice a pattern, you mean? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drinking too much. That's a, <laughs> yeah. But I love it. I love it. Dude. <laughs> I can't. There's, there's no part of me that's like, all right, stop. Oh, it's yeah. It's just like, nah, this, you got it. <laughs> That's what you tell yourself. You got, nah, dude, you're fully in control. Nah, man, you're good. <laughs> you're in complete you're control, good. dude. Dude, one time we were drinking with my buddy, and uh, he got into the Uber, right? And he just didn't get his, like, he had, like, real kind of heavy legs because his mom kind of had heavy legs. But she would wear tight pants, and you kind of couldn't tell. But if you were over there a lot, you knew yeah. that she kind of had really stocky legs. And But he was bringing his second leg into the Uber, and his sandal fell off, right? <laughs> So then we had this place we would go in, bro, he fucking just shows up. Oh, no. Yeah, everybody was just like, he just seems so much drunker than he was, you know? Yeah, it's crazy I lose a shoe. Yeah. That's, yeah. We're losing one piece of footwear and somebody's like, oh, that guy's. Like a, a yeah. lens of a glasses, <laughs> one lens. <laughs> You're fucking hammered. <laughs> You're a crackhead now. Oh, yeah, that's, in, <laughs> that's insane, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Losing a glass is a lens. You got to really. <laughs> yeah, your kids are like, nah, uh Yeah. Yeah, your kids are like, we're not. We're going to order pizza. <laughs> <laughs> forever it's pizza time let me know in the comments what your favorite moment from this list was or which moments we may have missed and shout out to matt mccusker for some of these hilarious moments as well as always feel free to fill out the form in the joke world instagram bio to claim some free joke world stickers if you fill out that form we'll send these to your house free of charge thank you so much for watching oh thanks dude. everything you say is funny oh dude no i have less <laughs> posture like funny. my body style yeah that joke world so we never got to the bottom if there is a height correlation with gays, right? <laughs> I did hear one, and uh, I don't know if this is true or not, but it was, you know what? I might have to look it up, but uh, it was like, if you're, if you're gay, more likely to be left-handed. Hey, I don't want to see pitchforks, because I don't know if that's true, but I swear... I swear I heard that somewhere. I saw it somewhere. Let, let me know if that's true. You guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you guys do some homework for for your boy Chango. I wanna see. <laughs> I want you to comment down below and let me know if that's a fact. Um, and then also the women on here. Let me let me see what you think about what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this as much as I did, go ahead and like, go ahead and subscribe. It's not going to cost you anything. I'm running a special, I promise. 
Um, and then go ahead and hit the notification bell so that way you get notified every time I post some dumb, weird shit, right? Um, but yeah, that's all I got. You guys take care. Peace out.